There's our uh, boat knocking the bottom of the... <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look like it's hitting right now. No, it doesn't. I think because of wakes like that, as you know, it's high tide. Yeah. yeah. See how close the water is to the dock. John I've J. Smith. I've been aboard here for 39 years. It's been my honor, privilege, responsibility to take care of this wonderful old ship and share it with folks like these. And maybe yourself sometime, drop a card or something. All right, and you have wind. a book? Yeah, I've got a third edition of a collection of essays that are rather eclectic. Some might call them absurd. Some might call them poetic. Some might at least be able to find something to something to do with it. If it does if only for entertainment, it's definitely entertaining. And I'm what's not the, so used and what's to the name of your book? Little Fish Big Pond. Little Fish Big Pond. If you're Norwegian that'd be uh Klein Fiske Stord Pen. Klein Fiske Stord Pen. Stord Pen. Stord if you're Norwegian, but it's only right. in English, yeah, Alright, is it can it be found on Amazon or anything? Amazon.com, Little Fish Big Pond. Alrighty, thanks John. Thank you. Alright, it's been a pleasure being here with John on the Mermaid. So I thought I'd do a movie about uh, this guy we met. His name was um, John, and he had this boat called the Mermaid of uh, Curacao, as you s just saw. And his boat was a wooden boat built in the 60s, and it um, basically it was held together by beeswax and sawdust. It was uh, a very strong boat, but after 50 years of being in the water, it did. Uh, you know, obviously wood and water, it um, starts to sink. And his boat was uh, taking on some water a as we were sitting there. I think he said about uh, 10 gallons or 10 gallons every half hour or so. And uh, it was just an awesome, awesome boat though and uh, an awesome dude as well. He um been living on the water since right after Vietnam. And I thought I would just share with you guys boat and uh, the character that John was. So, enjoy. So, anything you put in the sink, drain through the sink, without having... And this is water from the bilge? I'm pumping the bilge down. And that's, and the, this will drain it. So that's, that's not quite what I'm leaking, but it all spit out. <laughs> hey, salt water. Yeah, well, I spit in salt water. <laughs> I wrote one thing I wrote in my book that's about how a lot yeah. less gross than tasting that water. Yeah, that's really or, a good Or, by the power invested in me as the captain of this vessel, will the lowest ranking member of the crew come forward for a little experiment here? <laughs> 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 absolutely waterproof and if I want to buff it I can shine it when I'm ready to shine. These things are cruise seven and a half eight knots a bigger boat here. What's this sail called? Water here? sail. Water sail. They use it underneath a boom like a opposite of a following stencil like on a screw. Mm -hmm. This is the um, 